Hello everyone and welcome back to the Random Genetics Challenge! It has been a few days since we have been here. I hope you guys enjoyed binging on the randomness over the Thanksgiving break. And we are back with our beloved puppers, Brandy. Look at that beautiful little snoot she has. Oh my goodness, what a face. I love her. <laughs> I just want to cuddle her. She just looks like such the sweetheart. And, you know, her mom, Fiona, was a little bit of a broccoli uh, centerpiece in herself. But Brandy has actually, like, turned out... Well, I was going to say to look mostly normal, but actually, to be completely honest, Brandy still has several very unique and interesting traits about her. And I would like to keep the Random Genetics Challenge going just a little bit longer, at least, to see just how unique, how random, and how hilarious our dogs, cats, and even Sims might turn out. So, after reading through your guys' comments and seeing so much laughter about all of the different dogs and cats that we have had, I have noticed that you do wish indeed for us to continue on with our kitten quest when it comes to experimenting a little bit with the randomness of what the cats can have. And yes, my friends, I did see how so many of you were very distressed that I have not taken off the match eye colors when we do the random coloring for the cat's eyes. I will be sure to do that in the future. I do think that could definitely add in a dash of excitement. And I also saw how many of you actually would love to see us try out the randomness with a sim and I thought that was pretty fun so we could have just one sim added in and we might keep them for like three generations of animals and that sim will become known as our assistant our laboratory assistant and we will create that sim using random genetics random everything and just dress them up randomly and maybe give them a proper lab coat too for their working clothes I thought that was really fun and you know why not it's the random challenge let's just go for it let's go ahead and we're gonna add in a sim now I actually already rolled the dice so we are going to have a female sim and we're just gonna do the same thing we do for the dogs and cats where we go down the list and we just randomize everything I can possibly randomize about this woman so I'm pretty excited to meet her hello hello what a nose that's a pretty awesome nose she is going to be our very first laboratory assistant here in the random genetics lab where our biggest goal other than creating all sorts of curious concoctions and coat patterns is making sure that you guys can have a good light laugh during your day. So I do hope you're having a wonderful day by the way. I totally forgot to say that. But let's welcome in our random assistant and we are just going to uh, give her the last name. Hmm. She's going to be, um, let's see, our lab assistant. So we're just going to say assistant. There we go. Uh, we're gonna, in fact, we'll give her the full name of lab assistant. And then her first name is going to be, and again, I do things a little differently in our random challenge. We actually pick a number between one and 12 instead of just three, because I find it to add a little bit more variety to our lives. And if I lose count, don't worry. We're just going to consider that human error, which also adds in quite the random effect, eh? Eh? But all right, her name is going to be whatever the 11th name is that pops up. So one, two, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven cameron oh that's a pretty cool so this is a cool name so this is cameron our lab assistant and we're going to randomize what her aspiration is and so the ninth aspiration is going to be hers that is actually city native that's pretty funny there's only one we can pick there she is going to have let's see i'm gonna roll to see so the second set of traits and she's gonna have the third trait so she's a foodie <laughs> What on earth is she doing here? Uh, and she also is going to have the second set of traits again. So another hobby trait. And she's a foodie bookworm. And let's see. So she now gets to try social traits. She is a foodie bookworm who hates children. <laughs> You know, I don't think I would have ever put together a sim like that. I wouldn't have thought to make a city native who really wants to become like a home turf. I don't even know what that aspiration is. This would have been a good way to challenge me to do something fresh, that's for sure. Who's a foodie bookworm who hates kids? Well, that's Cameron for you. She is our very first lab assistant. And we're going to go down and we are just going to randomize everything. I don't think we're going to like, well, I guess we could start with randomizing like her actual face. So, okay then. 
again. Then we're going to give her the fifth face that shows up and then change everything about it from there, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure detail edit mode, does that let me? Okay, detail edit mode is just for like changing the actual like grabbing the nose and yanking it around. Skin details, teeth. Okay, skin details you can't randomize. Um, Can you really not randomize noses? Oh gosh, that is so peculiar to me because I am so used to picking noses in Sims 2 and Sims 3 and like picking out the eyes and everything. This is really, are you, are you, are you oh no, see, okay, so I have to physically click on everything about her. Okay, well, instead of randomizing faces, we're going to start with head shape and then I just have to physically click, do I, do I click on her ears? This feels a little bit like intimately awkward to be completely honest. I'm like, pardon me, Cameron, I have to tap your face so that we can change it, please. So sorry about that. Well, let's go ahead and start with her head shape then. We are gonna pick the fifth head shape. Uh, Cameron, is this gonna really do anything? I don't think this is gonna be too dramatic, but we'll see. One, two, three, four, five, huh. I really feel like that was just not really doing much, but that's okay. All right, well, onto the eyebrows. Pardon me, Cameron. Again, I apologize. This is kind of like majorly right in there, and we will not make her eyebrows match her hair, even though that will send me up a wall uh, But for like her looks, but it might make her look very interesting. So the eighth set of eyebrows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Do you like my count, bond count uh, impression that I am doing there? All right, and then her eyes are gonna be quite interesting. She gets the second set of eyes. One, two. Ooh, Cameron, look at your beautiful blue eyes. Nice. And then she's going to get, uh, what else can I click on? I can click on her cheeks? Oh gosh, well that's a little awkward, but okay. Her, uh, She gets the eighth set of cheeks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, wow, actually cheeks definitely do something. And then I love her nose, but we'll have to see if we get to keep it with the third nose that comes up. One, two, three, aww. You have a very normal looking nose, Cameron, but I'm sure everybody's going to be celebrating that you look pretty normal now. Uh, all right, and then we're going to pick the ninth set of lips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Cameron, you kind of you kind of chilled, chilled off uh, the randomness there, if you ask me. And the ninth jaw, actually. That's funny, rolling two nines in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So this is Cameron's basic face and head shape. I don't think, oh wait, the ears. I can click on her ears. This is so awkward. I am so sorry, Cameron. This is, I feel so, so, you get the second set of ears, Cameron. One, two, of course. Thank you, thank you. I needed that. I needed this giggle. I needed this, this ability to step back and go, oh, oh. The random gods have indeed spoken on your behalf, Cameron. This is quite interesting. All right, well, let's pop over here to the hair. Uh, we're just gonna go for any hairstyle. Forget this like if it's feminine or not hair We're gonna go for all of the possible hairs that are in the game and we actually get to pick the 12th hair So we get to see quite the variety of what Cameron could look like hair wise one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve. Oh my all right Cameron your ears your ears are definitely out there, but hey, that's pretty cool. We're not really gonna give her hats or accessories. Uh, I don't think you can like randomize makeup. Yeah, you can't randomize makeup, even though that would have been quite entertaining. But let's zip through, and uh, now that we have randomized her face, uh, you can't really, I guess she came with randomized fitness and fat levels. Um, let's see, body, styled looks, tops. Uh, we'll just go ahead and we will give her a full body outfit and then we'll give her a like pieced together outfit with a top and a bottom and accessories and everything like that. But we're just going to give her like one everyday outfit that's full body, one that is not. And then we might go through and do one of the puppies because we don't really care what she looks like in terms of sleepwear and swimwear and all of that because she is here to be our laboratory assistant in the random genetics lab. So, all right, her full body Day outfit would look like the second outfit that comes up. So one, two. Oh, okay. Hey there. Alrighty then. All right. All right. Well, um, and then if she had any accessories, I can't randomize accessories. Can I randomize shoes? <gasps> I can randomize shoes. Okay. So I actually think this is beautiful. She has everything I could have asked for as a genetics lab assistant. 
<laughs> her ears, her outfit, everything about you, Cameron. I am slowly falling in love very quickly, actually, considering how long we've been here. But all right. And the first set of shoes is what she gets to wear with her everyday full body outfit. Cameron. Cameron. You, no. my dear. Oh. You are, well, that's not very dainty, but you knew how to make me so proud. Look at you. I am so happy. She has got one of the most interesting eclectic outfits ever. That is going to definitely be the outfit that we will keep for her work with us as a lab assistant. She has set the like she has set the style for what our lab assistants are going to look like, and I could not be more excited. All right, well we're going to give her a top and bottom with. Uh, I guess I'll just have to like close my eyes and pick on the accessories, just because I want to see what it would look like. Forget that feminine nonsense. We're gonna let her wear whatever the heck she wants. She's going to have the third top. One, two three so this would be like her around the house outfit i think and then she is going to be allowed the fourth set of pants one two three four. Oh my gosh it's so perfect <laughs> cameron that is so immensely perfect for being able to be a lab assistant in a lab where we kind of play with all sorts of uh like puppy and kitty genetics and then let me see we are going to pick the fourth set of shoes for her one two three four all right so she's got like some pretty hefty boots but that's okay she's she's well dressed for whatever the heck she's doing and then i'm just gonna close my eyes and like zip 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 dunk okay Oh, what is this? Okay, well, that's kind of weird, but if you want to wear that under your shirt, I'm not going to question it, Cameron. But all right, let's go ahead and put her back in her everyday outfit. I have to say, guys, this is a pretty cool looking outfit. <laughs> And I love how Cameron looks. That is just so much fun to me that she actually uh, came came in such a beautiful, curious, just what does the hates children even look like? I, I'd like the little, I, I've never chosen that. You can tell I usually play genetics families. But all right, so welcome to our lab assistant. I hope that she has a fantastic time helping us with the puppies and kitties we are going to be adding into the family tree. So I think we only have enough time to do one animal today. So let me go ahead and I'm going to roll a dice. Is it gonna be cats or dogs? And it is going to be dogs this time. So hang in there, cats lovers. Now that we have Cameron, she'll be with us for at least a couple more generations of pets and we will be able to do a kitty and a puppy every day well last puppy we left off on was brandy Duh, or experiment zero to one experiment 21 she is a loyal couch potato who is adventurous and you know what she really has grown on me and now we are going to make a mate for her we're gonna make a new puppers Hello, my dear. Look at him. Hi. We are going to make a brand new dog. And after reviewing your guys' comments, I agree with you. Probably the best thing we can do and one of the most fun things is just to randomize between the two different dog breeds and then it'll affect like it might be a small dog, it might be a big dog in the first category and that's all we need to worry about when it comes to coming up with the next dog that we're going to use. So we're going to go ahead and randomize Brandy a mate now and I will just pick two dog breeds and well we'll pick one dog breed and then we'll just like randomize a breed mix. So we're going to pick the 10th dog breed to start start us off for a nice base to work from. So one, two, three, four, woo, five, six, seven, eight. It's kind of hard when my dice is moving. Nine and then 10. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> All right. So we have a bulldog. Our very first dog base is going to be a bulldog and then he is going to just randomly breed with whoever. I'm pretty sure this will just make like any kind of bulldog mixed breed. So we're gonna all you bulldog lovers in the house. Please let me know if you have bulldogs. Let me know the names of the bulldogs. I actually get very excited when I meet bulldog owners because they tend to be some of the most unique and like really interesting people I've ever met. Like one bulldog owner I knew, he had a fantastic, beautiful line of bulldogs that he had been like raising and taking to shows and he loved them. And he had these really fantastic, oh my gosh, there's a squirrel on my bird feeder. Okay, you guys are gonna have to check the vlog channel. I've got, a, a, give me a second. <laughs> oh my 
goodness. Okay, if I remember, I will have to put a picture of the whole ordeal on the video right now. But my apologies, our wonderful bulldog, and all of you guys, because... <laughs> We just had a squirrel land on our second story window. It was absolutely nowhere near any trees or anything. So basically the squirrel made a gigantic leap from our gutter, luckily jumped on top of the bird feeder, and then proceeded to wreck my custom handmade bird feeder. So thankfully it's in one piece. I went down and fetched it from where it started to roll down the ravine behind our house, and we'll have to hopefully hope that that squirrel startled himself enough he won't be back. They have plenty of feed that I leave them uh, at the bird feeders I let them raid. So that was uncalled for. That's the one bird feeder they're not allowed to raid. And, and we're just, we're getting into our rascals. The raccoons are clearly, clearly holding auditions and bringing the squirrel rascals into the bird feeder dilemma. Huh, that's going to be a good story for one of our Sims 4 live streams, though. So moving on from that, kind of catching my breath after chasing away the squirrel and running down the ravine to catch my bird feeder before it disappeared. We are going to randomize up the mate of Brandy now. So we're going to mix the bulldog breed five times. Two, three, four. Wait, is it just mixing? Oh my gosh, it's not just mixing with other bulldogs. All right, and our fifth one actually looks like a, mostly a bulldog. I have no idea what the other breed it may have mysteriously mixed with is, but we're going to be working from the base of a bulldog for sure this time. So, as usual, let's go ahead and start modifying everything from the body down to the tips of the toes and the tail, with the really exciting moment coming once we start mixing up that coat coloring and seeing what kind of beautiful puppies Brandy and her new mate may have. So let's go ahead and give this guy a new body. We are actually going to be rolling five times again. Always interesting when we have double numbers. Oh, there's a lot of double numbers in this list too. Interesting. One, two, oh my, uh, three, four, five. Okay. Not as skinny as it could be, but definitely skinnier than most bulldogs. Now we're going to randomize the tail, of which there is such a delightfully broad variety. The tenth tail is going to be the one. And remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Uh, if you don't see the tail move and you think I skipped one, usually it just means it picked the same tail. So don't panic, you guys. It will be all right. And now we are going to go and we are going to randomize the tenth coat pattern. So this is pretty exciting. I always get really happy. Uh, in fact, I wonder. Oh, that's right. I knew I was forgetting something. The face. All right, we're going to do the face before we start diving into the coat patterns. I'm so flustered from that squirrel. My apologies. The tenth head is going to be the head that we use. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, look at that. This actually looks a lot like Luke, my aunt's dog now. All right, and then we're going to randomize the ears. We're kind of stepping away from the bulldog appearance. I'm actually a little bit sad about that. It would have been interesting to see what Brandy and a bulldog could have had. But that's okay, my dear puppers. You, too, deserve the chance to shine in the random light. So, the sixth set of ears. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, still really cute. <laughs> Are you going to add a dose of cute to our puppies? Is that what your plan is? I see your devious little plan with those adorable little eyes. All right, the 11th nose. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh no, you are going to be cute, aren't you? I see your mad plan. Okay, and then actually, believe it or not, the 11th eyes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh my, 10, 11. Oh. Okay, so maybe you won't be bringing in, like, the the big-eyed, puppy-dog-eyed cute to the family, but I still think you look pretty cool. All right, so that is all of the features that we can edit when it comes to the face and the body. Really, so far, I feel like we have a very normal-looking dog, but we still have not only the coat colors, but the fur type to roll for. So let's go ahead and roll for the tenth fur type. One... Ooh, dang. 
uh, casually going to save this really quickly. Uh, and we're going to name this dog and casually save Experiment 22 because I'm actually pretty impressed with the way this one looks. Uh, my apologies for stopping really quickly. We're going to pick the seventh name. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Chandler. Okay, he is a boy. We're going to go ahead, take away that trait. And he's going to have the twelfth trait. Uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. He's playful. Oh no, I just like him. Look at his big long tail. Oh my gosh. And then he's going to have the, uh, let's see, third. Oh no, he's playful and aggressive. That's not what we need. And then he's going to be a couch potato. Okay, a playful, aggressive couch potato. Oops, actually, I should have counted. Okay, playful, aggressive hunter. There we go. So I think he really likes being a hunting dog, but I just like his look right now. So we're going to do experiment 10-5. There we go. Uh, it shouldn't be modded, but I think that unfortunately our new uh, our new experiment assistant actually has some sort of CC on her. So, all right, there we go. Sorry, I just had to save him when he had this coat pattern because Chandler, that looks awesome. All right, but anyway, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I really hope he ends up with eyebrows I saw in one of the earlier coat patterns. Ten. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Although this looks like a calm, normal looking coat, it actually has quite the variety for a lot of different colors. So this is going to be a little interesting. We actually have a lot of threes in a row. So we have three, 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 three. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. What? We made it halfway through without any neons? I probably just cursed us, but now we have an eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What? And then a three again. One, two, three. <gasps> Are you kidding me? We ended up with a pretty normal looking dog? I, I'm not sure what I think about this. This is interesting. Okay, and then the last thing that we're going to do is pick the sixth fur type. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh no, he's really, really cute looking actually. Look at him, you guys. Everything about him actually came together. It was like every step of the random was meant to lead just to this dog. He's so cool looking. Look at you, Chandler. No wonder you look so sassy. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, Chandler is now here and Brandy, I think, is definitely swept off her paws. So let's go ahead and play with some genetics and see what their fifth child would be and that will be the dog to inherit the title of experiment 23. So let's go ahead and we will make an adult dog. This is number one between Brandy and Chandler. I have to say actually pretty cute mix. I wouldn't have thought Brandy would be able to like really throw uh, very traditionally cute puppers, but I feel like this is a cute small dog right here. Lots of fluff, enough fluff at the head that you can kind of like scratch their little heads and sink your fingers into their little fur. And they have teensy little cute ears that are so pointed and really cute little nose. So actually they had a very cute son. Uh, let's go ahead. Is it going to be a son or daughter? Let me roll. It is going to be a daughter actually. So I'm going to change to daughter and we're going to roll four more times. Times. So this would be their second child. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Maybe it's the spots. I am a sucker for spots. I hope their daughter has spots. Please let their daughter have spots. Okay, third child. Oh, okay. Got a lot of brandy there. Fourth child. Okay, got a lot of brandy there too. And finally, the fifth puppers who will inherit the title of Experiment 23. Oh! <laughs> the, the most interesting looking possible puppy from the litter. <laughs> That's who we have to inherit the title. <laughs> Well, you know what? I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. So welcome, welcome experiment number 23. I am very excited to welcome her into the family. I think it's really hilarious that the most unique looking of the puppies from that litter of five is the one that we ended up with. And we are going to pick the seventh name for her. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Her name's Squee. Okay. That's adorable. And now we're gonna pick her traits really quickly. So she's got the sixth trait. She is a little glutton who's independent. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and a troublemaker. 
<laughs> no, I don't like that one. No, no, no. Oh man. I wasn't able to click it fast enough. But here we go. We have Squee. She is a beautiful mix of her mother, Brandy, and her father, Chandler, who looked amazing in spots. And I would again like to welcome in our very first lab assistant, Cameron, and give a little shout out to the squirrel who wanted to be part of all of the random chaos. There's even randomness happening in my office as I try to create these adventures for us. Who knew? But all right, guys, I hope you have enjoyed. These are just meant to be fun, lighthearted. We'll keep it rolling as long as you guys would like to jump on in and join us. And uh, maybe, who knows, with your guys' support, we might make it all the way to the random 100th experiment of our dogs and cats, which would be pretty fun. Just, you know, some, some happiness to bring into your day. Also, I was away for Thanksgiving Day break, so you guys have not been able to see so many of our wonderful kitties and puppies and download the experiments for yourselves but i will be joining all of the uh, the things in the gallery pretty soon and uploading all of our current experiments to the gallery later today as soon as i can get origin to work for me again so it should be up there soon you guys will be able to jump up here download me out download anything that i have created a whole bunch of these are things that other people have created so make sure you like read the little tags to be sure and hopefully We'll be diving into some of our Sims 4 adventures again very, very soon. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.